Well, how you sleep could determine how your body reacts to COVID-19 and the vaccine. That led many people to wonder if they should start taking a sleep aid. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens takes an in-depth look at research into melatonin and found that the answers are still elusive. It's a huge issue. Dr. Victoria Sharma is the medical director of the Sharp Grossmont Sleep Disorder Center. She's seen firsthand how the pandemic has changed people's sleep patterns, usually for the worse. And oftentimes when people work from home, where they retire, they have less of a schedule, they start getting into trouble. And trouble sleeping means trouble for your immune system. I think in general, better sleep leads to better immunity. The sleep aid melatonin may offer a solution. A new study from researchers in Argentina and Toronto found taking melatonin for two weeks before the vaccination could help, quote, to improve sleep quality and to ensure that the vaccination is performed at a moment of optimal sleep conditions. And the study says taking melatonin up to a month after, quote, could increase the potency of the immune response and the duration of the immunity induced by the vaccine. Great news, as more people are eligible to get their shots. Getting better sleep absolutely helps immunity, which can absolutely help the vaccine. But Dr. Sharma says melatonin does not offer a foolproof solution. She points to two studies published in the fall, one from the Cleveland Clinic and the other at the University of Sao Paulo that show melatonin helps fight COVID infections by suppressing the immune response and subsequent inflammation. Dr. Sharma says that's the opposite of what we want a vaccine to do as it creates antibodies. So that actually leads me to think that taking melatonin during the time that you're being vaccinated would actually be counterproductive. Okay? All the studies say we need more research and larger clinical trials before we get any concrete answers. And you should always talk to your doctor before taking any kind of medication. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News.